session about the Philippine eagles in our ecosystem. And of course, before we proceed to all the learning activities that we'll have today, we'd also like to have a welcome message from our coach Shawi today and um, hope that this starts the motivation for everyone today. So, Ms. Sharon. Magandang umaga. Hello, kids. Are you excited? <laughs> if you are excited, can I see a thumbs up? Ayan. O, di ba? Ang daming nag-thumbs up. So, we welcome uh, to this Learn with Malaya session brought to you by Philippine Eagle Foundation and Forest School Philippines. I hope that you will enjoy this interactive uh, learning session. And I hope that after this session, you will love the Philippine Eagle more and that you will love and care for our forests more. So enjoy today and I hope to um, see you soon in the forest. Thank you so much for Michelle. <laughs> so um, good morning again, kids. Um, I am actually at the Philippine Eagle Center right now. Um, I, I am your Ate Carla. So anytime you have questions, you can uh, type in the chat box. And if you really feel the need to ask um, using your voice, you can raise your hand and then we can ask you to unmute yourself. So while we are playing our um, videos, uh, we recommend that uh, you put your microphone on mute so we won't hear the background noises as well from your home. So uh, we, we don't call it uh, a rule, no? Let's call it an agreement. Kasi, um, uh, you agree to it, I agree to it, and then, then we all want this kind of peace while we are watching our videos. So by the way, this is the Philippine Eagle Center. We have a lot of trees here. We actually belong in the water at the foothills of Mount Apo. So it is very cold here and it is in a foresty area. So so there. Um, so before we start, let me ask you a question. Who among you here visited the Philippine Eagle Center in the past? Can you raise your hand? Because I assume that not everyone here is from Mindanao, right? Uh, I think most of you are from Megaluzon or maybe out of the country, well, Michelle, you know? So maybe um, no one has visited the Philippine Eagle Center yet. I think Caleb raised his hand or did you? <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so there. Um, so one more question. Since no one has visited the Philippine Eagle Center yet, I'm sure that you are aware about our national bird, the Philippine Eagle, right? So later, we will see an animal keeper with a Philippine Eagle sa kamay niya. And it's very interesting because the Philippine Eagle is so heavy, it's so big, it's so majestic, pero kaya niyang hawakan. So please park your questions later and we will show you a video about a young Philippine Eagle from egg until fledgling. Ang tawag sa fledge, uh, ang tawag sa, ang fled, meaning ng fledgling ay Philippine Eagle na umalis sa nest ng parents niya. So I will um, present to you now a nine-minute video about a Philippine eagle raised by her parents in the wild. So enjoy. This is the very first active nest that we have uh, found here in Luzon and it gives us hope that there could be more nests that we could find in this region. Finding this nest is a culmination of much physical, mental, and sometimes emotional effort. We are just so happy that we have finally found the nest after five years of searching for it.
Welcome to the Philippine Eagle Center. Meet new friends. Get to know the wildlife more. Appreciate nature. Understand their needs. And see the Philippine Eagle up close. Join her as she explores how nature works. Learn with Malaya is a fun and interactive way to promote wildlife appreciation and shape conservation values among the youth. Malaya brings you to her world and introduces you to her friends and the habitat they represent. Interact with people working hard to save our national bird from extinction and learn how to be a junior conservation champ. We look forward to seeing you all soon! in the tallest trees in a forest not far from here there lives a family in a home made of branches and twigs can you see them they're a family of birds but they're not just any bird they're a family of great philippine eagles some say they are the most beautiful kind of eagle Certainly, they are one of the most powerful. You might wonder why we call them Philippine Eagles. The answer is very simple. They are found nowhere else except for right here in the Philippines. The mother and father eagle look quite serious, don't they? That's because they have some serious business. They are raising their new baby. See that white fluff in the middle of the nest? That's her. She's only a few days old. Her name is Kalyan. And don't let her small size fool you. One day, she will grow to be as big as her parents. But for now, as a tiny chick, everything is new and exciting. Even though she must spend all of her time in the safety of her family's home, sometimes Kalyan is brave enough over the edge to see what's happening below. But she knows to be careful. Falling out of the nest would not be fun. The mother and father eagle have been together long before Kalyan was born and they will stay together for their entire lives. Over the years, they have developed a very strong bond to each other. They maintain and strengthen this bond in an unusual way. Watch this. Here comes Kalyan's father, flying towards her mother. He takes hold of her feet, and they plummet towards the earth together. It might seem like an odd way to show they care for each other, but this is how Philippine eagles develop a lifelong trust. Back at the nest, Kalyan waits for her parents to return. By the time they come back, it has started to rain. She knows how to snuggle under their bellies to keep dry. Kalyan relies on her parents for just about everything. To stay protected from the wind and rain, of course. But perhaps the most exciting thing they give her is food. Kalyan loves to eat. Her parents are expert hunters. 
To find food, they use their excellent eyesight. Eyesight much better than yours or mine. And they swiftly maneuver through the forest to catch monkeys and bats or other forest animals to bring back to their baby. Look, they just brought a snake for Kalyan. They tear the food into pieces that are hopefully small enough for her to swallow. Sometimes, when Kalyan's parents are off hunting, she listens to the sounds around her. She hears the other animals in the forest. Young macaques squeal as they play. And the cicadas. Sometimes, they are so loud, she can't hear herself think. And what's that sound? Is it a bird? Or maybe a, a frog? Kalyan is not sure. One day, when she leaves the nest, she will see all the forest animals for herself. A healthy forest has many trees, many different types of trees. A healthy forest also has many different types of animals. All the eagles and bats and monkeys, butterflies and birds rely on the forest to build their homes and find their food. Kalyan and her family rely on the tall trees for so many things. But when the trees are destroyed, when too many are taken, the eagles and other animals lose their homes. These hills, now covered with grass, were once a vast forest. Where have the monkeys gone? Where are the eagles? Back in our forest? The mother and father eagle arrive at the nest with a great swoosh and they have another meal. Just in time, Kalyan is getting hungry again. Each day she grows bigger. Her small white feathers are replaced by darker and stronger ones. Her wings grow longer and she flaps them even though she still cannot fly. One, two, Three, she flaps, building the muscles in her arms and chest. Kalyan is five months old now and starting to look like a grown eagle. But she still has some work to do before she can leave the nest. Like you, Kalyan must exercise to help her grow. Do you stretch your arms and jump and run? These things are a lot of fun and they help make you strong. And like you, Kalyan learns from her parents. They will teach her to fly and hunt. Once she leaves the home, she will begin her most difficult training. How to survive in the forest on her own. As a young eagle, Kalyan will have many challenges, and the journey to adulthood can be dangerous. But if the forests stay healthy, and if her parents teach her well, she will live for many years, 30 years or more. In fact, you and Kalyan can grow up together. I think she's almost ready to leave the nest. Kalyan is excited but nervous too. 
She slowly tests her courage one step at a time. She's not a little chick anymore. She has exercised and has grown stronger. There she goes! Good luck, Kalyan! We'll watch for you! There you go. Congratulations, Kalayaan, for fledging. So that's what we call it, no? Fledging. It means leaving your parents after being taken care of. Um, so let's recap a little bit sa mga nakakaalala. Um, how long nga inalagaan ng parents ni Kalayaan ni si Eagle, si Kalayaan mismo? Ilang years? If you can unmute yourself, it's fine. You can also chat it. Sino ang nakaalala doon? <laughs> Ilang taon si Kalayaan inalagaan ng kanyang parents? One year? Higher. <laughs> oh, may answer dito si Nathan. One year. Two years, sabi ni Adi. So two is correct. no? So for two years, Kalayaan stayed with her parents. And that is the reason bakit they only lay one egg every two years kasi may inaalagaan pa silang chick, di ba? So if the chick fledges or leaves the nest of the parents, that's the time the parent eagles breed again, no? So it's always one every two years. So can you imagine, gusto natin mas dumami pa sila, but they only lay one egg every two years, di ba? So ibig sabihin, gusto nila na when their chick leaves the nest, meron silang mas magadang quality of living kasi naalagaan na nila to full nourishment yung chick. So, where do you think Kalaya and went no, after leaving the nest of her parents? Sige nga, let me know your answers. San kaya siya pumunta? Sa dagat kaya? Nag-beach kaya si Kalayaan? Wala pa nag-a-answer. Hmm, saan kaya si Kalayaan? Trying to find another eagle in the jungle. Thank you, Zuriel and um, Nathan and Mikar. Thank you for the answers to the forest. No, So all are actually correct. No, uh, Kalayaan would be looking for a new jungle, a new forest to call her own kasi they are so territorial, they cannot live in that forest where the parents live no kasi um kailangan mag-isa lang siya doon kaya all the more we have to take care of our forest kasi example umalis na si Kalayaan sa parents niya tapos wala na pa lang forest nearby eventually Kalayaan will not survive kasi wala siyang food wala siyang home and he cannot go back to the parents forest diba so thank you forest school philippines for of course teaching these kids to appreciate our forest more. And yung answer ni hindi to see me card. Trying to find another eagle. That is also correct. Now let me um, add to it. No? Um, ganito siya, me card. Um, yung, yung Philippine eagles natin, they mature at mga 5 to 7 years old. So when Kalayaan left her parents at 2 years old, hindi pa siya adult. No? So parang bata pa lang siya na naghahanap ng ng kalaro, naghahanap ng mga toys niya like the sprigs and the leaves, ganon. So when Kalayaan turned 5 to 7 years old, dyan na siya maghahanap ng partner eagle, di ba? So we can actually call her an adult. And good news, Kalayaan is now 7 years old. So sino ba mga 7 year old dito? Oh, meron. Oh, oh, kaedad mo siya, Aya. And sino pa ba? Oh, marami kayong seven. So see, you are actually going to grow up with Kalayaan. So she is still in Bukidnon right now. So it's good, no, that we learned about another eagle today na kaedad niya lang, kasabayan niya lang. So um, I want to share as well with you the story of two Philippine eagles who met from, uh, who came from two different um situations no so one is captive bred ibig sabihin pinanganak dito sa Philippine Eagle Center one was also hatched from the wild just like kalayaan no um nagmeet sila but of course i won't tell you 
kung ano yung plot. But I, I hope that you enjoy this four-minute um, animation video. This is actually a storytelling no, from the book called An Eagle's Feather. So um, yeah, let's watch this. An Eagle's Feather by Men Fong Ho. Illustrations by Francis Alvarez. Flying high above the forest of Tumbala at sunrise, Kalyan spots a monkey. Foo! The young Philippine eagle swoops down to follow the monkey. Where did it go? On and on, Kalyan flies in pursuit of it. He notices the landscape below changing. Where are the trees? Where are the animals? Who are those people? Scared, he turns to fly back when boom! There's a shotgun blast and a sharp pain in his wing. In a flurry of feathers and blood, he starts to fall and keeps falling. Kalyan crashes onto the hard ground. He is dazed and weak, unable to get up. Suddenly, he hears footsteps and voices approaching. What is happening? He's been shot, Father. Kalyan hears a boy's voice shouting. Must be a hunter nearby. Hurry! Kalyan feels the gentle touch of small hands and big strong arms wrapping him in a cloth and carrying him. Then everything turns dark. When he wakes up, Kalyan does not know where he is. Instead of trees, there are metal bars all around him. He tries to fly, but his hurt wing is bound tight. And who's that in the other corner of his cage? Another eagle? What is this place, Kalyan asks. Why are we here? We are safe here, says the other eagle. You were brought here by kind villagers after you were shot by hunters. My name is Pinpin, Pin, and unlike you, I was born and raised right here. But why would people want to shoot us? Do they dislike us? No. In fact, there was a time people thought of us as kings of the sky, because we were the strongest birds in the whole of the Philippines. Pinpin Pin pauses, but that was a long time ago. Over the next few months, as Kalyan's wing heals, the two eagles spend their time getting to know each other more. Pin Pin talks of how, according to what her mother told her, the forest has been cut down for timber so that eagles have less and less space to hunt for food. That's when people started hunting us down, Pin Pin says, and there are not many of us left now. So we are kept in these cages for our own safety, Kalyan asks. And I will never see my forest home again? Don't lose hope, Pin Pin comforts her new friend. Someday, we may both be set free into the forest, just like my mother was. She told me to live for that day when I grew big enough to be released. And after that, I could find a mate and build a nest to raise baby eagles in safety. And me, Kalyan asks, will I be set free again too? I hope so, Pin Pin says. The two eagles stare at the bars of their cage as the leaves of the forest beyond shimmer in the moonlight. One day, after a very long time, Kalyan and Pinpin Pin wake up to a quiet morning. 
the day of their release back into the wild has finally come. They are wrapped in cloth and taken to the forest. And at first light, they are set free. Kalyan and Pinpin -Pin are so excited. One, two, three, and off they fly. Back in the forest of Tambala, there is no cage. There are no wounds on their wings. The air is fresh, and they feel so happy to see the lush forest and the boundless blue sky. It's so beautiful out here, just like in Mother's stories, Pinpin -Pin says. Everything feels so new, but it's so good to fly free. This is where we belong, Pinpin, -Pin, Kalyan replies. At last, we are home. From the branches and leaves, they hear a familiar voice. It's them, says the boy. Hurry, father. They wave up to the eagles, smiling. Kalyan swoops down and flaps his wings to thank them and continues to fly off with Pinpin -Pin into the dawn. There you go. So who agrees that this story has a happy ending? So raise your hand. Happy ending ba? Yay, agree lahat. So it is a happy ending, but remember that Kalayaan and Pinpin flying off to the forest and of course meeting each other is just the beginning of their story, no? So yeah, when everything ends, something also starts and begins there. Oh, no wala pala video ko. Ayan. <laughs> All right. So there. Um, so don't be confused, ha? The Kalayaan in this story is not the same as the Kalayaan in the documentary earlier. So um, it's just that it's a good name, no? Kasi Kalayaan means freedom, no? Malaya. So it's a good name and we often use that in our storytelling activity. So Kalayaan in this video was the one um, who lived in the wild and was shot. And then Pinpin was the one hatched here at the Philippine Eagle Center. And they met kasi si Kalayaan, nung na-rescue siya after na baril, he was brought here and um, we, took care of, we took care of him. No? Tinanggal natin yung bala sa wing niya. And then when um, he was completely okay, na-meet niya yung isang Philippine Eagle. No? And then stinori niya di ba, sa Philippine Eagle na... Um, Actually, Pinpin maganda doon sa wild. Doon ako lumaki. So, if you go with me, di ba, pwede tayong bumuo ng mas maraming eagles and roam the forest and fly freely. So, um, I, I'm sure everybody's happy about that story, no? And um, later, when you see our youngest Philippine eagle, mas magiging excited pa kayo kasi you probably haven't seen um, an eagle up close, no? So, meron akong question. Sa inyo. <laughs> so why was Kalayaan hurt? Doon sa storytelling. What happened to Kalayaan? He was shot. That's right, Nathan. That's right, Rio. No? Um, Kalayaan was shot. And one of the reasons why they get shot is because the forest is being denuded. Ibig sabihin, nauubos na yung forest. Pag kumukonti na lang yung mga puno, mas madali silang nakikita ng mga hunters kasi wala na silang mataguan. So all the more, babalik tayo doon sa protecting the forest so we could save our Philippine eagles. Si Zuriel may answer din to sell. You are also correct. Actually, yung na, um, na rescue namin na Philippine eagle, um, last year lang, no, uh, December, um, it was captured and then he tried to sell that Philippine Eagle for 8,000 pesos. No? Can you believe it? Parang presyong cell phone lang, no? Binibenta niya for 8,000 pesos. And that eagle actually is 
more valuable. It's priceless, no? Dapat hindi niya binibenta. So, thank you, Zuriel, for that input. So, um, recap. So, two main threats of the Philippine eagles in the Philippines right now are one, deforestation, yung pagkaubos ng hubat. Second is shooting or hunting. So, remember that kasi later baka may mga tanong si Ate Dara sa inyo and you might as well win prizes. So, um, there, um, I'm sure you you've gone mga forest explorations, no? So we from the Philippine Eagle Center, we just want you to uh, learn mga conservation values. So when you grow up, you may be one of the uh, biologists, no? Or mga environmentalists, no? Or even like the coaches like Ma'am Shawi, no? Who inspire people to take care and appreciate wildlife, no? So we, we prepared an ecosystem video. So meron kaming mga... Um, parang tips lang, no, no, what we do and what you can do at a young age kasi you are still in your elementary years. So we hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone! I am Steph. And I'm Dara. And here with us is our friend Malaya. Today we are going to learn more about Philippine eagle and the habitat it represents. As you can see, Malaya is excited to share with you this learning experience as we understand and appreciate wildlife and nature more. So everyone, welcome to Learn with Malaya. Can you imagine how your day would be without food, water, shelter, or air? As living organisms, these are among our basic needs in order to survive. These are some of the components that support our ecosystem. But what is an ecosystem? It is a community of biotic components in conjunction with abiotic components of the environment interacting as a system. Biotic components are living organisms like animals, plants, and other organisms. Abiotic components, on the other hand, are non-living organisms like water, soil, temperature, and sunlight. Every organism needs shelter. On Earth, our gravity holds our atmosphere in place and makes possible the biosphere our global home. The biosphere is a portion of the Earth where life occurs. The portions of land, known as lithosphere, water, known as hydrosphere, and air, known as atmosphere that holds life. Ecosystems consist of many communities living together in the same area. What does this mean? Let me expound. This is an individual, one Philippine serpent eagle. A group of individuals living together in the same area is called a population. The population of the Philippine serpent eagles is declining. The Philippine serpent eagle thrives in a forest with a population of snakes, lizards, and rodents. Different populations living together in the same area is called a community. Different communities living together in the same area is called an ecosystem. Let me give you examples. Fishes belong to freshwater and marine ecosystems. Philippine eagles thrive in a rainforest ecosystem. There is a pressing need to better understand why taking care of our ecosystem is important. All of the Earth's plants and animals rely on ecosystem for food and habitat. If we throw garbage in the ocean, it may end up in some animals' stomachs and it could hurt or even kill them. So when at the beach, make sure to put your trash in the proper bin or cut down plastic use at once. I bring my own utensils and water bottle everywhere. You can do the same too. And without the forest, an eagle cannot live. Shelter is vital to their survival, as it not only houses them but also the animals they eat. With less trees, hunters can easily find them. Deforestation and hunting are two main threats our Philippine eagles face, and we can't let that happen. Let us plant trees and not cut them. You see, you can help in your own little ways. There you have it. We hope you all grow up to be responsible citizens who take care of our ecosystems. Right, Malaya? Now that we have learned how to appreciate our ecosystems more, 
let's bring in one representative from the rainforest, our national bird, the Philippine Eagle. Hello everyone, my name is Luana. I am an animal keeper and eagle trainer here at the Philippine Eagle Foundation. And today I'm going to be talking to you about raptor behaviors. But before we begin, let me ask you this. Do you know what a raptor is? What do I mean when I say the word raptor? A raptor is a species of bird of prey such as eagles, hawks, falcons, vultures, and even owls. So the word raptor is a name given to a group of birds that share certain characteristics that set them apart from other groups of birds. What are these characteristics? To help me explain that, let me bring in a friend. So let me introduce you to our four-year-old Philippine eagle, Sinag. Sinag is one of the eagles under my care, and I've been caring for him since he was about one years old. So we know each other pretty well. And today, Sinag's gonna help me show you what are those raptor characteristics. So number one, raptors have strong grasping feet and very sharp talons. You can see that here. Number two, raptors are carnivores, meaning that their diet consists entirely of meat. So no fruits or veggies for them. Carnivores are predatory animals. They hunt other animals as their main food source. So Philippine eagles in the wild will hunt monkeys, palm civets, reptiles like snakes and lizards, and even small deer. Sinog's favorite food is actually white rat meat. So number three, raptors have sharp, curved, hooked beaks that help them tear off small pieces of meat from their prey in order to eat. So just like how you use utensils like a fork and knife to cut your food into bite-sized pieces, a raptor's beak has the same purpose. Number four, raptors have forward-facing eyes with long vision distance. This helps them spot their prey when they are high up in the tree or when they're flying high above in the sky. And this is also known as binocular vision. When we say an animal has binocular vision, this is because the forward-facing eyes creates overlapping fields of view, and this improves depth perception. So Philippine eagle eyesight is actually eight times stronger than human eyesight. Their visual acuity is much better than our own. However, both humans and raptors share this characteristic of having binocular vision because we too have forward-facing eyes with overlapping fields of view but eagle's eyesight is still far better so now that we know what a raptor is let's talk about raptor behavior what are they how do we identify them and why are they so important to understand Behaviors are what an animal does. Their body movements, actions, patterns, and how they communicate. Behaviors are the outcome of how the animal interacts and responds to their internal and or external environments. Today, let's focus on five raptor behaviors. Number one, preening, a uniquely bird behavior. When the raptor uses its beak to arrange and straighten its feathers on its body, wings, and tail. This is how they keep their feathers looking nice and clean. Just like how you comb or brush your hair as part of your hygiene practices, preening is a part of the bird's feather maintenance. Number two, cresting. When the feathers on top of the eagle's head raise in a crest-like pattern in response to a potential threat. This may be a sign of aggression or curiosity, depending on the circumstance. However, most often this behavior may be associated to what the eagle sees in its physical environment as something potentially threatening, something that they do not like. It is a way of communicating Please stay away from me. Number three, mantling. 
the action of when the eagle spreads both of its wings and fans out their tail in an effort to conceal or protect their food. This behavior typically occurs after a prey item is caught in the presence of another eagle or person. Also, flapping of the wings and cawing vocals can accompany this action. This is a way of communicating, this is my food, you cannot have it, as a form of food defense display. Number four, feeking. The action of wiping their beak clean on a branch or other hard surface after eating. This helps them remove any leftover meat or debris from their beak. Number five, wing slap. The action of the eagle slapping its wings in response to something or someone in their environment that they do not like. The slapping sound is created when the wings hit the branch or other substrate. This behavior is typically accompanied with cresting, a sign of aggression. It is a way of communicating, stay away or else I will attack you. This is a warning display. These are five raptor behaviors, but there are many other behaviors that an eagle does, including but not limited to feeding, flying, soaring, vocalizing, and so many more. As part of my job, I care for my animals every day, including feeding them, cleaning up after them, training them, and monitoring any changes in their environment and health. Understanding how they behave and why they behave is an essential component to their welfare and safety, as well as my own. Understanding raptor body language not only informs me what the animal is doing, but what the animal is trying to communicate. For example, if I approached a Philippine eagle that was cresting and then followed with a wing slap and did not know what those behaviors meant, I could possibly be attacked and hurt very badly. The eagle is trying to communicate in his or her own way to say stay away. Safety is always the utmost priority when working with potentially dangerous animals, especially working with raptors and birds of prey alike. By reading raptor body language, I can determine whether the eagle is expressing discomfort or stress, or even when they are relaxed and content. Another example, the eagle is perched in preening. Preening is a sign of being content, meaning that the bird is comfortable enough in its surroundings to perform this behavior without being on alert or on defense. There is no cresting or defensive territorial displays. One of the most remarkable behaviors of Philippine eagles are their monogamous bonds to one another. In the wild, Philippine eagles can stay with their partners for a lifetime. This is a true testament of loyalty. CNAG here is a part of our captive breeding program here at the Philippine Eagle Foundation. So CNAG trusts me and is bonded to me, or what we refer to as an imprinted eagle. So imprinted eagles are not fit for release. However, when Sinan does reach age of maturity, he will contribute to the next generation of Philippine eagles. I'm doing my part to help save these species from extinction, but together you can help too. You already started just by watching this video and sharing what you learned today with your family and friends. You're helping to spread Philippine wildlife awareness. And in doing so, you're saving eagles, protecting forests and securing your future. There you have it. We at the Philippine Eagle Foundation are very glad that you spent your time with us today. Indeed, conservation is really important in all aspects. Naturally, we protect the things we love. But in order to take care of them properly, we need to understand how they function so we know how to help. Alright, Malaya was saying, that we should all protect in our own little ways everything in our environment. Are you with us? That's great. So that's about it, right? Till next time. Bye. There you go. So thank you, Ate Dara, for playing those videos for us. We apologize, everyone, if it's a little bit 
choppy or laggy siguro from your end no but we sent links to all of those videos if you would like to rewatch it later or maybe tomorrow it's actually active for three days even yung kalayaan na video and yung an eagle's feather in a storytelling no it it it's in the links that Ate Dara sent so you can watch it later so Today, let's have a little recap no, about Philippine Eagle Sinag. No? So, Sinag is five years old and he is our youngest Philippine Eagle. So, is anybody here about mga five years old then, Or who just turned five years old? Or maybe turning five this year? Meron ba? Uy, meron. <laughs> Ayun. Or maybe some, some, some of you here are even uh, younger than five years old, di ba? So there's so you are growing old with Sina, no? So Sina just turned five last December, um, December 2020. Ayon. So let's have a recap about the behaviors, but I won't tell you. You tell me, okay? So help me out here. So Ate Luana told us about the raptor um, behaviors. So you tell me if it's a good sign or a bad sign, if Sinag is like happy or not about that kind of behavior. So when I say preening, is it good or bad? When an eagle is preening, is it a good sign or a bad sign? Sige nga. Good, sabi ni Tomas. Happy, sabi ni Rio. Ayan, Andy said good. Alex said good. Okay, happy, oh no? And you're all correct. Nathan said good as well. So Kara said, thumbs up. <laughs> so, you are all right. So, when an eagle is preening, it means that he is comfortable around the people. No? Kasi pwede siyang mag-groom sa sarili niya without having to be defensive. No? So, he's actually putting his guard down. So, isa pa, um, when we say cresting, crest is yung feathers dito. And when the eagle is cresting, nakaganon yun. Mm -hmm. Rio said bad. Sinong nag-agree dito? Andy said bad. 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 Interesting. Not bad. bad. <laughs> Tami o. Oh. May nag-PM din. Alex said bad. I said bad. I'm Alex sure. Tomas. Maya. <laughs> Thank you for the answers. You are all right. No? So it's not a good sign kasi it means that the, the <laughs> eagle is not comfortable. No? So minsan curious lang siya. No? So nagsastart sa curiosity like Probably he saw something moving doon sa bush, no? Kaya tumaas yung crest feathers niya. Parang tayo when we raise our eyebrows, na parang may something doon na nakita. So you're either curious. But when it really spreads up high, it could be mad. And that's a sign that you should not approach the eagle. Kasi ibig sabihin pwede kanyang i-adapt. So you all actually did very good, no? Observation today. And you are doing this recap already. <laughs> okay? So thank you for participating. And we appreciate you all, all trying to learn more about our Philippine Eagles now so we can take care of it in the future. So um, I would like to open the floor for questions. No? So now is your time to ask us questions. Um, I am here with Ate Dara. And then go ahead, ask. <laughs> you mga questions <laughs> You can type it here in the chat box or you can also raise your hand or you can also untest it and then just ask it away. How many eagles do we have now? Sige, who wants to ask first? <laughs> oh, sige, so Anna raised, raised her hand. And when I ask your question, how can Hi, teacher. How can I be a... How can I be a ranger? How can you be a? You a forest. A forest ranger. How can you be a forest ranger? <laughs> ang galing galing naman na <laughs> ang bata nito nag nag volunteer as a forest ranger. Number one, you have to live in that community. I say you have to be familiar with the area, di ba? Number two. You have to start with learning about the soil, the animals that live around. Kaya at your age, you can start exploring muna the forest. Maybe play with the soil, play with the dahon, play with the kahoy. You start with those things and then when you grow up, you could be a forest ranger. <laughs> okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's good. 
Alright. So, I, I mean, um, I mean, uh, Ate Dara pala, oh, si Ate Dara is okay. one of our education officers here as well. Oh, my question, sino? Si, si Rio, how many uh-huh. Philippine eagles are left? Um, in the Philippines, we have an estimate of 400 pairs left in the wild already. And we are saying pairs kasi mag-asawa yung mga Philippine eagles. Eh, no? um, hindi sila yung multiple partners. Eh. They only have one partner for life. So, um, you can see them in Luzon, Samar, Leyte, and Mindanao. So, 400 na lang. And sabi ni Zeus, can we see the eagles there when pandemic ends? Ate Dara, possible ba? Ah, yes, of course. So, you can... Actually, as of now, uh, we are already accepting guests. But we have... Uh, our biosafety protocols are more strict than ever. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, okay. After the pandemic. Uh, yeah. okay. no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Agree, agree. So hopefully when travel is possible na you guys can visit us here. Tapos i-email nyo kami. Meron naman kami contact information. Sabihin nyo na nag-enroll kayo sa Forest School Philippines na Learned Malaya. Tour namin kayo sa loob. Hanapin natin si Sina. <laughs> Sige, ano pa? Uh, why would people like the hunter, the eagle? Bakit kaya ate Dara? <laughs> Sabi ni McCarthy yan ha. <laughs> Sorry for your question. Now, um, as of now, um, actually since the pandemic started. Ay, nawala audio mo ate da. Okay. Ah, meron na ba akong audio te? Oh, Ayan. meron na. Okay na. <laughs> okay. So um, as of now, uh, since the pandemic started, uh, we already had uh, eight Philippine eagle uh, eagles na na rescue, and that is from uh, here mostly here in Mindanao. So um, and most of the rescued Philippine eagles, no, uh, they are mga na traps, sa mga uh, mga traps na for supposedly sa mga warty pigs and sa deers. And um, as of now. Um, uh, wala pa din kami ano no uh, wala pang cases na nagbaril siya then then so but uh meron mga incidents uh, before na uh, binaril yung mga Filipino eagles like sabi nila is hindi pa nila alam na Filipino eagle yung binaril and uh meron ding mga ano uh, may mga instances na may humans and Filipino eagle conflicts because yung mga Philippine eagles natin, they are, um, they are they are the top predator of the Philippine forest. And they also prey from um, from rodents, the reptiles, and also sa mga warty pigs na usually hinahunt din ng mga, um, mga hunters. So may mga humans and Philippine eagle conflicts. That is why uh, the Philippine Eagle Foundation, uh, we have a research and uh, conservation program work with our partner communities now we, uh, we educate them we also help them in providing life so that uh, they can participate in the conservation work so yung mga uh, we have a lot of items in our gift shop namin na uh, they uh, um, yeah. <laughs> thank you ate dara so yun, no, um, kasi marami kasing mga, mga tao doon from the forest na they breed, mga, they raise mga chickens, no, mga baboy, mga kambing. And minsan si Philippine Eagle, bumababa na siya doon sa lowland tapos nanguhuli na siya ng mga kambing, mga chicken and nagagalit yung ibang tao doon. So kaya nila sinusu. So that is not good din as well, di ba? So, uh, my question si Kara. Do Philippine Eagles have a good hearing? Actually, oo. Kaya dito sa Philippine Eagle Center, tahimik kami. No? We can't even have mga loud parties. We can't have loud programs. Bawal mga stereos. Kasi masestress yung Philippine Eagles. Kaya yun. And then, sabi ni Zimwell, what should we do if we learn of people selling or keeping the eagle? What is the government doing to protect the forest and the Philippine eagle? That's a very good question, no? Um, 
Well, if you learn about a Philippine eagle sa, sa community ninyo na binibenta or may kinakapture, no, report it to authorities immediately. Hindi necessarily like tawagin nyo kami. No? You have the barangay. Call them and tell them na meron kayong narinig na ganyan. No? And then um, they would call the authorities. And then pag ni-rescue na nila, we can actually go there to retrieve the bird. And of course, the government, what is the government doing to protect the forest? Um, we partner with the government agencies. Yung kay Savana kanina, sabi niya gusto niyang maging forest ranger. No? So we have mga activities with the um, government agencies na nagtitrain kami ng mga forest. So that's one of the things. And we apologize. <laughs> Actually extended already. But maybe we could end the Uh, question ni Andy is as this uh, I think that's actually not in our control already if the eagle feels threatened by us what we can do is to back off no, and then slowly leave the territory so that's how we respect their space as well and even if you are in your own backyard if you see a caterpillar and you see a bug no, or may nakita kayong mga ants no that is how we respect them, right? We back off and then we give them their space. And um, they would also do the same. Um, hindi din nila tayo ibabayt kasi hindi natin sila naapakan. So that's how we, we, we respect each other no? in, the, in the environment. So um, I'm sorry we could not uh, entertain more kasi we, um, na extend na tayo. I'm sorry na <laughs> medyo humaba. But... Um, Feel free to send us an email for your questions. But this time, we would like to give away five prizes. Now, we'll be, it's our time to ask you questions. <laughs> so, um, we'll be asking you some questions. Whoever gets the right answer wins a Philippine Eagle plushie. Ayan. And then we will actually mail it to, um, to you. Uh, I'll check the arrangement with Ate Dara. So, let's start. So, we could proceed. Ayan. Give. Ready? Hmm. Sige. So, ang mechanics natin nito is um, you have to type sa chat box kasi if everybody would be sabay-sabay na naka-unmute, parang it's hard to know no kung sino ang <laughs> nakauna. So, whoever types first wins a plushie. So, question number one. Ayan, go Ate Dara. Flash it. Yeah, yun yung pwede nyo yung prices. Oh, may answer na agad. <laughs> Kasi na-flash na kanina si... Um, we'll take this answer, but let's see the question, Ate Dara. <laughs> Name an area in the Philippines where we can find our Philippine eagles. So, ang unang naka-answer is si Steven Oliver. <laughs> and his is Davao on some or later in Mindanao but you answer Davao which is also right and I would give you that so congratulations you win question number one sige next tayo ate Dara for medyo naglalag kami dito <laughs> Yeah, in the wild, how many eggs does a female Philippine eagle lay? Nami na answer, di ko pa nabas. Bibilis talaga ng mga kids. <laughs> one, the answer is one. Tama. One egg every, ilan yun? Ilang years? Two years. Very good. Every two years. So one egg every two years. First na naka-answer is si... Zuriel. And I encourage Zuriel and si Steven to, to give chance to others so we still have three questions. Congratulations. Sige, next, Ate Dara. Give one description of a raptor. Nasa talk ni Ate Luana yan earlier. One description of a raptor. <laughs> we would have to get carnivore. Um, well, a raptor has talons, but it's a characteristic, no? If they have strong talons, so we would take. Ateda, would you like to? 
ano, let's go, would we consider talons? I think we consider talons, no? So, talons, they have strong talons, no? Strong grip of talons. So, we'll give it to Rio. Congratulations, Rio, for winning. So, we have two more. And dami actually right answers. Sabana said carnivore, Adi said forward facing eyes. Ayan. So, what is the reason why Philippine eagles like Kalayaan got hurt? Oh, and dami. Oh, si, si Andy, um, because of hunters, no? So, shooting or deforestation. So, Andy got question number four. Congratulations. Ayan, last na. If you could only have a lot, no? <laughs> um, sige, last. What can we do to help our Philippine eagles? In your own little way. <laughs> Plant trees. Adi, did we did, did you win kanina? You did not yet, right? So so Adi, um, was the first to answer pl plant trees. Okay, congratulations, Adi. You got question number five. So there, um, I think we're all set. Um, Ate Dara will uh, communicate the name Miss Sharon about um how to ship all these prizes to you guys, and we appreciate. You learning about the Philippine eagles. Um, can you give me a thumbs up if you pledge to protect the forest and the Philippine eagles? Hey, there you go. You guys are so amazing. Now, Michelle, we would like to ask um, like a simple message from, uh, from you to, to all the students who just graduated from this class today. Maybe congratulate them for staying up, uh, even if it, you know, it was extended. <laughs> Hello kids, thank you so much for staying and learning with Malaya. So again, we want to thank Philippine Eagle Foundation and Forest Foundation for bringing this to you. So gusto po namin malaman kung may natutunan kayo. Earlier, we sent a link where you can send your feed feedback. Tama? Bit.ly slash Malaya. I ask Malaya, I think, where you can send your feedback. Um, so we know how we can serve you better. Please ask your mommies or daddies who are with you now to help you answer the feedback. So maraming salamat. I really hope that we will see you in the forest to protect and help save our eagle. Amazing. That's right. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Mishawi. So hindi na natin patagali. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you. So Thank everybody you. say bye. Or should we have a photo? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's have a photo first at the dark. I think you would be the same. I said, I said I my answers to my teacher by accident. <laughs> oh. Okay. Bye, bye bye. So count at the Dara. One. Uh, is there a link to buy the stuffies? There you go. So okay, we're done. So thank you everyone um, and so soon. thank you for me. Uh, is there a link to buy the plushies? Is there a link to buy the plushies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um we can email you the yeah. website where you could buy the plushies. Visit uh, info, uh, info www.philippinefoundation.org. Right, we'll email it to you, and you can also email us your question. And to Miss Mar. Thank you, thank you, Miss Cha. Thank you, Poma. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Good job, Zeus. <laughs> Bye. Ayan, thank you, Pomishawi. Okay. Sorry, Thanks no. Again. <laughs>
Mama. Okay lang, oo. Kasi engaged naman yung mga bata, oo. I wanted to entertain more questions or maybe ask more kasi ang bilis nilang mag-answer. Tapos pa, ang, ang, ang dami nila. Oo nga eh. Tapos baka may engagements pa sila sa widow so don't wanna keep, keep them for long. But thank you po, parang we appreciate kahit pa uh, wala si Steph today kasi yung biyahe niya to Bukid noon was ngayon pala. May medyo nag, uh, ano lang sa schedule kung matuloy ba or hindi. Nag-wait lang kami sa response ng LGU din kasi ng Bukid noon if matuloy sila. Kaya hindi kami sure kung matuloy ba siya. So, she's actually supposed to, she's actually good with kids. No? <laughs> Important. Stay with us. Oo. Salamat ulit ha. Basta pag may projects pa kayo. <laughs> sige po. Sige po. Anytime. Um, Haba pa. Ano naman yung tao? I repeat. Um, uh, within this quarter po, um, running pa kami. So, if you have like other batches, just let us know anytime. Sige. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you po, ma'am. Have a nice day po. Bye. I'm sure they wanted more, but at least we can have a tagal. Okay, sir, good day. Kasi hindi ka nasin. Yeah, hindi ka nga na yung downtown thing. So, sure na, ito mag-dito. Hindi ka hindi ka nasin. Kaya sila yung health care versus yung health care. Ayaw din. Now that you're just doing it, it's like it's common knowledge na trip to the hospital. Ayaw. Ayaw.